Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to create such a feature when a policeman chases a gangster while a gangster stays in cop's alarm zone. And if policeman loses a gangster, then he stops moving. Scripts will be available by the link in the description. So what do we have here? We have a background, so our scene is not look so empty. We have a policeman game object with policeman sprite. This cop's game object has a circle collider 2D, which is a trigger that fits the shape of the alarm zone. And here is a policeman control script that does all the magic. And a rigid body 2D component with gravity scale set to zero. Policeman has an alarm zone game object as a child that has a sprite renderer with knob sprite. Color option is modified a bit, so alpha channel value is set to lower one to make it a bit transparent. Here is a simple knob sprite attached. OK. Gangster game object has a circle collider to detect collisions with policemen. It is a trigger too. Gangster's movement is controlled by gangster movement script. Let's take a look at policeman control script. Here we have a rigid body 2D component variable, target game object which will be our gangster, vector 3 direction to target variable, public float move speed and boolean follow variable which is false initially. In start method we get rigid body component and assign target variable finding gangster game object. Here we have a couple of trigger methods. So if gangster enters policeman's collider then follow variable is set to true and policeman is allowed to follow a gangster. If gangster exits that collider, then follow is set to false and policeman is not allowed to follow. So in update method we perform this entire functionality. If follow is true, then direction to target is calculated and velocity to rigid body is passed, so policeman starts to move towards the gangster. If follow is false, then policeman stops. That's it. Gangster movement script is simple. Here we have direction x and direction y variables and move speed variable which can be set in inspector. In update method we read if arrow keys are pressed and move our gangster according to directions and move speed. Policeman's move speed equals to 2. Gangster's move speed equals to 5. So gangster can run away from the policeman. Here we go. Gangster enters the policeman's alarm zone. Policeman starts to chase the gangster. Gangster runs away. Policeman stops. And so on. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.